Hey, good afternoon, Pastor Stan. It is June 1st, 2023. God bless you. A lot of things going on in the church, a lot of things going on in the world, a lot of, going, a lot of, things, going, a lot of things going on in your life. Hey, just want to update you. I know we haven't really talked about it on Sunday morning, and we've talked about, if you have heard us, we haven't really talked in depth that we are uh, bringing on part-time staff, Pastor Alexis Falbel. She'll be uh, overseeing uh, discipleship and some administrative help. And so um, we really haven't gone into detail why, who, how, how did this work? Were, were we uh, looking for someone? We really weren't, weren't looking for someone. The Lord opened a door. Um, pastor Blaine Young, who's come and spoke to us, he, he's a Chi Alpha pastor for the DC Chi Alpha. You know him, hopefully. Uh, he, he approached us and said, hey, um, Alexis is looking for part-time ministry. She's currently working with the JMU Chi Alpha staff. Her time is ending there. She feels called to full-time ministry to be a lead pastor someday. And she, he said, I, I believe her gifts and who she is will fit who you are. And I, I think it can work. And so we we contacted her. We met her. We prayed about it as a leadership team. We we, 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 we checked out other references and found out, uh, hey, this could be a potential. And so what, what brought it to mind was Paul the Apostle, if you look in his letters to the church and in the book of Acts what his ministry was, he had a ministry of go until no. The ministry of go until no. And a lot of times in the American church we are no until we get the word go, no until go. And really we just said, you know what, the Lord's opening a door here. We we didn't pursue it. We didn't ask for resumes. Um, and, and we've done that in the past. We, we, we have we put the word out we're hiring. We've gone through candidates. We've met them. We've interviewed them. Uh, and we've hired a few. And, and sometimes it's work for our church and sometimes it's not. So we were in prayer. We were looking to potentially hire an admin assistant, maybe looking at a, a pastor discipleship. And we said, you know what, let's just put that on hold. We're going to put it on the shelf. We're going to wait until maybe the Lord opens some doors or, or we feel like it's a good time. And so we felt like it was a good time because the Lord opened the door. In in the book of Acts, in chapter 15, uh, the, the the council of uh, of, uh, of churches, uh, not was current, but they, they were hearing that in Antioch, some people were causing some trouble, some bad teaching, and they weren't being discipled. And so they sent some apostles and some disciples there, and they sent a letter. And in the letter, this is very interesting because it just says, it seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us not to burden you with anything beyond the following requirements. And so what it was was the Holy Spirit spoke to them. They prayed about it. They felt good about it. And they sent this letter and these disciples to, to help disciple the church at Antioch. And we kind of feel it's the same aspect with the way the door opened for us. The opportunity came to us where Pastor Alexis will come. She'll join us on staff, part-time staff. She, she may have to get a part-time job outside the church. But her, her main focus is going to be discipleship, helping us make disciples. And that's really what God calls us to do is to, to make disciples. And so her goal would do that. She has administrative skills, and if you've seen my office and you've watched me try to follow through with our grow class, and I apologize because some of you are like, when are you going to contact us? I need help because administrative skills are not my forte, and so she's going to come alongside and help me with that. She's going to help with discipleship, and so we just thought, hey, let's try it. The Lord sent it to her to us. The doors are open to us. We had the ministry of, uh, of go and no, until no. Every door, we just kept going and no, all the doors kept opening. All the references came uh, came back good. And we're like, let's give it a try. What, what's it going to hurt? What, what It could help us. I mean, why not? And we could sit around and think about it and pray about it more. And we just thought the Lord opened the door for us. And so she's coming. She'll be moving in this Saturday uh, around 1 o'clock into the parsonage, which is part of the church, here part of the church. And if you want to help her uh, unload some stuff after 1 o'clock, you can show up at the parsonage this Saturday. Um, she'll be coming on full-time uh, as a, a part-time staff starting uh, this coming um Tuesday, she'll join us in the office, and then she'll be in with us the next Sunday. Uh, she has an event going on that's just already been scheduled, so she won't be with us this Sunday. But I know you'll welcome her. You always welcome all our new staff members. And so we just thought, hey, the Lord opened the door for us. The opportunity came to us. Let's pursue it. Let's go for it. Let's give it a try. Uh, why not? Why not? If the Lord gives a door, opens a door, let's walk through it. Let's see what happens. Uh, it's been good for us in, in some other aspects. Pastor Melissa came and was part of the church, and the door opened for her to come into ministry, in it, and she has been a wonderful uh, help to the church and to my family, myself, and to many of you. And so we thought, hey, it could be the same thing, and it, it may work, it may not work, but 
why why not try it? Uh, we we just want to try it. So so she's coming. She'll join us. She'll be with us next Sunday. I hope that answers some questions. You have more questions? Contact me, and, and I'll, I'll I'll try to fill you in some more details. But thank you for praying with us and believing with us for greater things. Uh, and we just want to go forward in making disciples who are making disciples. Again, if you want to help uh, her unload, she has a few people helping this Saturday at one after one p.m. Uh, at the parsonage, which is right in the, the the little apartment in the front of the church here. And then she'll be with us the following Sunday. Thank you for your support, your prayer, and your help. We love you so much, and we're, we're, we're blessed because of you and what God is doing in our church. God bless you. Thanks.